freshman guys are doing a really good job. And so, um, you know, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with where we are. And, uh, you know, we, we got another two weeks before we get going. So uh, still got some time. We'll keep pushing them to be the best version they have. We've heard some good things about Kendrick so far this camp. What have you seen? Kendrick's been, been like really good. Thing. Kendrick's been doing really well. Um, you know, in the run game, uh, he can play across the board, all three positions, um, physical. You know, he has that he has that long frame, and so uh, he's really uh, work, working his hands really well, playing with extension. Uh, and then the pass rush, he's doing really well, um, getting on edges, um, using his quickness and good lateral quickness. And so uh, he's probably been the most surprised out of the, out of the group of guys um, because there's nothing that he can't do. I know he's still a baby, he's still young, but he's working really hard and it's paying off. If, what's the challenge for a guy who you probably needed to lose some of the bad weight when he got here, but maybe he lost too much weight when he got hurt now and he's put some of it back on. What's just the challenge for him? To stay well, you know, that's the thing. You know, he had all that little baby fat. So, you know, you got to trim the turkey. He trimmed it up and, uh, you know, then he had the surgery where uh, he lost a lot of it. So, you know what, that's, um, I just got to stay on him as a mentor, keep eating and reminding him to eat, eat, eat. Um, you know, Coach Ed is doing a great job putting the muscle on with him. Um, but his body, man, is transforming. And, you know, for him to be a red shirt freshman, only being here uh, a year and a half, I think that speaks volume on the work that he's put in and what Coach Ed and Coach Hill has done with him. Coach, there's a lot of ex expectations from the Spunt 7 this year. H kind of how has their approach been to practice kind of with those um, expectations this year? Well, yeah. Well, you know, we look at it as we're the engine that makes this thing go. And, uh, you know, we got to be physical. We got to be aggressive. We got to play violent. And so, uh, you know, that's always our goal. And uh, that's the key to victories. Uh, great defense always had really good dominant defensive lines. And, uh, you know, with uh, the guys that we have coming back, you know, we got a veteran group. We probably have the most veteran group that we have. And so every week those guys got, we got to put it out there. So every day I push them to be the best version of those sales, go out here, man, and let's get better. Let's get the O-line better. Let's compete, and uh, let's see where we are in two weeks. Kendrick talked about the bonding that goes on right. both on and off the field in the meeting rooms. It's kind of an obvious question, but how does that help you as a coach? And obviously it helps them. Well, that's huge. You know, the camaraderie, um, you know, you, you got to be a unit. And, and, and so you got to make everybody feel like, you know, they matter. Everybody has a role to play. And so that's huge. You know, they spend time. And I told them that, like, you've got to spend time outside the building together. Right? Go ahead, uh, you know, hanging out. You know, they play the video games. Uh, apparently, Khalil likes to cook, so they go over. You know, they love to eat. So they all go over, and they eat and they have a good time. And that's what it's about. You know, and then, you know, they watch film together. All of that's going to pay off for us. And so, uh, you know, I, I just keep speaking it. Coach White, um, you know, Coach Stoops always talking about, you know, the camaraderie of the team and, that, and their attitude and stuff. And you got to have that in our room. And there's no hating. There's no division. We're all one unit, and we all going to do it together. How much seen Dion handle all the hype this summer? Every one of these All-American lists and draft mock drafts yeah. that comes out. How is he handling all of that? He's good. Y'all remind him, you know, you know, the noise. You know, shut the noise off. You know, don't believe everything you read. Uh, you know, because we've had really talented guys like him that's been here. And they was projected to go first round, and they did. And it's because you sit there, you listen to all this, and then you forget the hard work you got to put in. You got to continue to do that, especially when you want to play the next level. It's a mental game, and all those guys are professionals, and they and they get it. And so he has to understand that, you know, at you know, 19, 20 year olds, like he has to understand, like you can't just keep reading, and believing everything that you read because they'll build you up, they'll tear you down. And so, you know, I just try to keep him even keeled. Um, he's done a really good job of that, and he's working every day. What's the key for Kendrick playing inside and not having that, that weight that he once had and, and some of the challenges that could pose to him? His quickness. You know, Coach White's very smart. And so he'll he'll adjust, you know, his calls to the personnel that we have in there. You know, if Kendrick's in that, we may move a little bit more, you know, to use his quickness. Uh, the one thing about Olamide, they hate the move. So we get those quicker guys in there uh, where they can go and mess up the numbers and get out the guys, play fast, get in the backfield, tackles for losses, stuff like that. So, um, you know, we got a plan. We have a plan for him. Uh, but he's just got to keep eating, keep lifting, gaining that weight, and he's going to be fine. What did you see in the scrimmage on Saturday? First live action kind of? Just well, um, what really kind of stood out to you? You know what? Uh, 92. You know, you guys have been mentioned Khalil. Khalil Sonnes has had a really good, really good camp. You know, he's a big, he's a big, long, athletic guy. Um, had a really good year uh, in the weight room, off season wise. 
Uh, I'm expecting nothing but huge things from him. You know, he's a fourth year guy. So he's another guy that um, he's got to play big for us and show up. And so he's done some really good things. Uh, and then Saturday, all the guys had their time, right? And so what we got to do is we just, when we get tired, we just got to, the mental toughness has to set in where you don't have many buzz. You know, you got to go left and then you go right. Or you're supposed to go right and you go left. Or you're supposed to do this and, and you know, you get tired. And so I just got to keep getting those guys in shape. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing I took from uh, Saturday. Oftentimes, you got to get players to drop weight depending on position. What's it like having to encourage guys to keep eating? You know what? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like they all was born with these silver spoons in their mouths, and <laughs> they don't like to eat. It's great food in there. I mean, the nutritionist, she's done a great job. Prue and then Coach Stoops, like, I mean, the kitchen. I mean, it's awesome. They do a really good job. They cater us. I'm trying to get those guys like. Stop eating chicken wings and hot dogs and hamburgers all the time. Go in there and get you some really good quality food. You know, it's, it's almost like a car. You have a Lamborghini, you ain't putting no 87 gas in that, right? <laughs> but that thing ain't going to run very well. And so that's why I tell those guys, they got to fuel their bodies with the right things. And so as long as they do that, they'll be fine. A little better than when you were here. I know, just a little bit. Oh, these guys got it made, man. These guys country club. They got it going on in there. Speaking of that, Brad was just talking about with some of the weight gain that Ox has put back on. Mm -hmm. He's starting to kind exactly. of look like that dominant guy again. Do you think yeah. the same thing? Yeah, I know, and that's the thing. Like they, That's the thing. Like, so what I do is I go back a, a year or two or a couple years ago when he had the weight on and how – physical how quick he was um and how he was um playing at a high level now he's still playing at a high level but he's got to be consistent and when my weight when i'm up and down in my weight my energy level goes up and down i don't have a chance i'm not giving myself an opportunity to do that so he sees that now he's eating a lot khalil's cooking for him so that's good <laughs> and so but no but he's he's uh he's locked in and doing some really good things for us you know,